on the road and another one there what to do the knots could be here of different reasons it could be that the rope uh, has been injured for some reason and someone put a butterfly knot here maybe it's damaged here or it could be that two ropes has been tied together or it could just be poor rope management so there is a knot anyhow we need to pass it and how do we do that now we remove the hand ascender Put it on top of the knot. Is that okay? Is it okay to just hang in the chest ascender? Actually, it is. If it just loaded statically and there's no risk of falling. And I'm just hanging here. So, hang ascender on top of the knot. Getting closer. Make sure that your, uh, uh, what do you call this one? The backup is uh, never in uh, more than four factor one. There are different ways of dealing with this, this one now. What I do is I take my ID, which is free, under here. It's there anyway, so why not? Lock it off. Remove the slack of it. Then I open up my backup, like this, and put it over. Pump. Now I dealt with this knot. The hard part is this one. Is it now possible? Maybe I could do it like this. Open up and just stand here. But the thing is that I could expose the hand ascender to fall. And then you get a fall into the tooth cam there. And that's not recommended at all. So what you want to do is you take your ID under your crawl, put your thumb on top of the cam with the teeth and remove the slack. Lock it off. This is just a backup if something goes wrong. Put your hand on your hand ascender and in one move now you want to put the chest ascender on top of the knot without landing in the ID. This is just a backup. Would look something like this maybe. Open up the chest ascender, over the knot and put it in. I never used this one, the, uh, the ID, it was just, uh, it was just a bag. So, now I remove this one, pop. And I'm done with this one. And I continue my climb. Happy camper, frog method one, two, and so on. At some point, I decide to go down again. Let's say I was climbing a lot more, but I'm not. So, opening the ID, make sure you know where the ID is. My technique is to put the thumb in here, keep it in the right position, lock it, remove the slack, lock off the ID. Change over, nothing strange. You remove the hand ascender, this. Way. And then we go down. Oh no! There's a knot. How to do, how to do. I have to get my, uh, my hand ascender back. Just get some rope management there so I don't entangle the rope. Put up here. Put in my foot. And then I want to put my chest ascender on top of the ID. Because the goal is, the aim of the game is to get the ID on the other side of the knot here. So I need to remove the weight from the ID. I can't do that by putting it in here. The chest ascender doesn't help me at all. Some of you will do that anyway. But what I do is, I want to put my chest ascender on top of the ID. So, pop, open it. Put it inside. And there is no weight in the ID. 
open up the ID and put it under like this. Remove the slack to the knot. So, so looks like this. Now, if I would just sit down in my chest ascender right now, it would be like this. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! Look at this, can't reach my hand ascender. It's very far away up there. So that's no good, really. So, taking from the starting position, what I do is, I use the fine technique of back climbing down to the knot. Make sure that I can reach my hand ascender. Once up here, the only thing I did was climb down all the way to the knot. Make sure that I can reach the hand ascender. Then, I take the little thing here, open it up, close it. Ha! I'm past this one. Now the tricky part. I'm not tricky, but... Now my ID is busy, so on the way down I can't use it here to get the, uh, the ASAP uh, past the knot. You also have to be very careful here when you get close to the knot that your backup is not to close. Read the manual what it says. So what I do instead is I make sure there's room for the ASAP under the knot. And just under there, in 4 5 the one tie a little butterfly. Like that. I take my free cow tail coming from the uh, from the uh, sternal point, sternal D wing. Attach it here. Full factor one. I open up just uh, the uh, backup, put it there, and remove the other knot. It's also very important that you put the knot under where this one should be, because how much rope do you think there is in? in a knot like this. It's a lot, it's about 60 centimeters. So if you tie it like this, open it, then it will drop. A lot, looking like this. Whoa! Four factor two, and even more. And that's at least at square.